Well, the first memory I have at City College, I had just dropped out of high school uh, and was enrolling here. Um, and I was 16, and this place seemed enormous. Um, I just, in retrospect, I, I feel blessed that it wasn't a university and that it was uh, a, you know, a fairly small community college. I was uh, a typical um, angry, uh, disaffected young brown man with a chip on his shoulder. Um, I, uh, you, I had a shaved head, uh, wore combat boots, and uh, um, I was angry at the way that the world was. Well, I really got adopted by the whole political science department. Um, uh, my first course at SBCC was David Lawyer's racism class, and uh, after that I took all the political science classes of Dr. Hasland, um, uh, Manu Eskandari, uh, and uh, Dr. K. Uh, and uh, they were all amazing. And more than that, it was a small and intimate enough environment to get to know my professors and in many ways being uh, maybe adopted or mentored by them. Uh, I didn't have uh, much money. Um, for part of the time I was here, I lived in my um, uh, Volkswagen bus at, uh, on the, in the parking lot. Um, and they took me under the wing and I earned a scholarship, but they also opened the doors so that I even knew about it. I remember really in uh, Dr. Eskandari's comparative politics class learning about you know, a political party in a political revolutionary movement in Iran that was um, Islamic uh, uh, communists, right? The Today Party. Um, and I was like, well, how's that possible, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, th those, you know, uh, those, are, that, those are supposed to be mutually exclusive. Um, and it, it gave me uh, a lesson on how um, complicated human belief is and how uh, it, it really transcends the boxes that we try to put people in, into. But there's something really powerful about being able to help open up um, uh, the creativity and power of students' minds. Uh, and I, I dig that. Uh, I, love, um, I love helping them look past um, ideology. Um, I love look, helping them look past um, the sort of patterns that we, our society teaches uh, that are overly simplistic about how to look at, at, at politics, at how to look at, at social movements. Um, which I like to teach a lot about, I mean, because I, I think that's really important in this day and age to think about the, the powerful movements like um, uh, the civil rights movement or the environmental movement, um, uh, the feminist movement. I've got a lot of good memories of City College, uh, I, but I, I think that um, uh, definitely uh, some of the people uh, that were here, some of the other students I met, um, both in uh, Dr. Haslund's Model UN class and in, in, uh, um, in Dr. Eskandari's Comparative Politics classes, uh, class were really like um, created a great environment of people who um, were interested in the subject matter, um, could, could get past my, my um, uh, sort of introverted and um, angry exterior and uh, engage about politics. Yeah, so. Santa Barbara is a place that you still have um, uh, a, a deep substance and maybe divine majesty all around you. I think um, that um, there's something that's lost when you live in a place where, that, where the most beautiful things are things that, that have been constructed by a human, um, uh, and it makes it 
harder to believe in something that's greater than yourself. But in a place like Santa Barbara where you can, on a weekend, walk along the Gaviota Coast or something like that and, uh, or take a kayak out to sea, uh, it's pretty easy to imagine something greater than yourself. I, I went to UC Berkeley uh, uh, and, and I really think that it, it's a credit to this institution, uh, not just to me, that um, within two years of me dropping out of high school uh, and being, uh, you know, homeless, um, living in the parking lot of SBCC, that I had the opportunity to go to one of the premier uh, universities in the world, UC Berkeley, and and I think it has a lot to do with the education I got here. In the legislature, I became the chair of the Higher Education Committee, and we grapple with the issue that um, the average time of completion of a city college education is not two years, not four years, but six years. Um, and so what that does is it makes education, on the surface, it's, the, it's usually six years because people are working at the same time. So on the surface, it seems really cheap, but because your living expenses are so significant, a six-year education at a city college is more expensive than a four-year education at a university. I want to say what an honor it is to be the first alumni chosen to uh, do this interview. I think that right now, you know, in the press, sometimes things come out about conflict at the college. Uh, and this is an important time to remember what a crucial role Santa Barbara City College plays in our community. Um, uh, when I was in the legislature, we would invite Robert Reich to talk to the Democratic Caucus once a year. And no less of an authority than the economist Robert Reich said, the greatest equalizer of our society is how many people get enrolled in institutions of higher learning. And this institution is part of that. It took a working class kid like myself and takes other uh, poor working class kids like myself and enables us to get into the middle class. Um, and, and hopefully more than that, get into the middle class, understanding our society better and having a job that we enjoy. Um, so I have never forgotten the gift that uh, SBCC gave me. And I hope that people remember um, that this in institution keeps on giving those gifts.